I don't like to say homeless, but I don't have a home or a base, and I'm moving out of my suitcases right now. Welcome to my channel. My name is Victoria Rose and I am in Hyde Park in London, England right now. I don't normally film in public like this with my, my setup camera, my microphone and stuff. I'm trying something new. So I just went to the store and got the most British snacks that I could. I want to update you all on my life. I'm going to have an intermission for tea and biscuits. So don't worry, we're going to still do things. But I'll show you the snacks that I got. Digestives, a nation's favorite. Walkers. This is prawn cocktail flavored. Haribo. Uh oh, dog's coming. Hide snacks. Hi, puppy. And then for the drink, black currant ribena. That's how you say it. So that's the snacks that I got that maybe we will try because a lot of those I haven't tried yet. So today's topic is how I am going to do this next phase of life basically how I'm going to be, I don't like to say homeless, but I don't have a home or a base and I'm moving out of my suitcases right now. It's such a beautiful day, like the sunshine is rare, but it's like it's been sunny so much here since I've gotten here. <sighs> the sun is intense though, it's burning my eyes. <laughs> I don't have a lease anywhere, I don't have a home anywhere. So this phase of my life I've decided is going to be, the world is now my living situation. So my plan is and has been for the past like six months to leave a stable environment <laughs> um, and basically instead of paying rent, pay in Airbnbs and hotels around the world. Now this sounds good in theory, but there's a lot more costs. The cost is going to vary greatly. So I'm not gonna have a steady rent to pay and have to move like all the time because of visas and stuff like that. Right now, I am staying in a temporary assisted, assisted, assist, no, not assisted, serviced, a serviced apartment, which I found here in London. London is extremely expensive. And to give you an idea of what I'm paying for three weeks at a very small apartment, which I can do an apartment tour if you guys want, is around $1,800, which is very cheap. That's a lot for me because it's way more than, it's more than double what I was paying in rent. Plus I have to, you know, pay for the flight and everything. So that's what I'm doing here in London. But every country, this is the exciting part, every country is going to be so different. Um, let's have a snack. Or let's have a drink. We're going to go with the, the black currant, rich in vitamin C. Um, basically, I guess it's just black currant juice. I've never had this before. Oh, wow. It tastes like a melted popsicle. Let's have a Haribo. I've had one of these before when I was visiting here before. Egg. It's going to be dependent on the country though. It could be a lot cheaper too if I go to more cheaper countries, but there's only so many different countries open right now. So the next country that I'm going to, and this is what I want to share with you guys, is Colombia. And I'm going to be going there for a full month. And the way that I'm doing this, and I wanted to share this with you um, in case you guys out there, if there's any digital nomads or people that work for themselves, I wanted to tell you how you can basically live anywhere in the world with a community of people um, not get too lonely, which is my biggest thing is the biggest thing for me is, well, yeah, it's expensive, but also being too lonely. Like when you're in another country and you don't know anyone um, and you're just staying by yourself, it gets difficult. I know some people here, but everyone has their own lives and stuff. So when you're traveling, you're, you know, at the mercy of other people's schedules, blah, blah, blah. And especially when you're traveling in places that don't speak English. Now, the way that you can get around this and also have a lot of your um, needs taken care of is I'm going through a program it's called Wi-Fi Artists so basically what it is it's a group that they 
live together, you can have your own separate room or share a room in a house. You get very fast Wi-Fi for because you're a digital nomad. Like you, you have to go through um, an application and they interview and stuff to make sure that you know every person is the right fit for the program. And I'll put the link below if you guys want to try and join this. Every month they go to a different country. So Colombia is the the this next coming month is the country we're going to. I think at the end they go to Japan. So they go all around the world and you can choose to stay on through the whole 12 months or you can hop on and off through each month. Live with other people that are doing similar things to you. So I've never done anything like this before and I'm really excited. I don't know how it's gonna be. I'm gonna vlog the process to show you because Colombia is not somewhere that I've ever thought of even going. We're gonna go to Colombia. Aw, there's a little puppy. Hi little puppy. And yeah, so they take care of a lot of the stress that comes along with traveling. Um, getting somewhere and having a group of people in a community, I find is one of the most important things. So you pay a set amount a month, which is probably not more than what most people are paying for rent. And if you're a digital nomad and you work for yourself, then you have normal working time so everyone's on the same like-minded page like there's not people that are going off partying all the time and like everybody is on the same page you work you travel and you experience an alternative way of living and i think the concept is really interesting so we're going to try it we're going to see what happens i don't know what's going to happen i don't even know who i'll be living with but that's how i'm going to be traveling to columbia at least um, if I like it enough, maybe we'll go through other countries through that process as well. I have a lot of adventures planned here in London, so we're going to get into that. But I wanted to tell you how I am doing this. Since I guess I could consider myself a digital nomad, I work online so I can move around. And a lot of you always are asking, how do you make money? And I'm going to tell you that. First, let's have a little tea break. <laughs> We're going to have biscuits and tea, which we learned. What did we learn? That biscuits are uh, cakes, and cakes and sandwiches. And just, yeah, I thought they were literally like biscuits. <laughs> I have heels on. I don't mind my stockings though. <laughs> Like a Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so I got jasmine something, something tea, green tea. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so I'm just going to show you guys what we have here. So they give you little sandwiches, uh, and then they give you, I don't know what any of these things are, but <laughs> I guess these are scones, right? Mm -hmm. And then jam and um, potted cream or butter. Uh, clotted cream. Clotted cream. I knew that. Yeah. <laughs> and then these little things up here. Yeah. So you get all of that. And then the tea, it all comes together. I look like I've seen better days. So I'm going to Medellin, that's how you say it, Colombia, um, and I don't know what to expect. I haven't researched it, I don't really know much about S South America in general. I've been to Peru one time, but that was like a long time ago. Let's continue with these snacks. So I was given some of these to the squirrels, but I have yet to try them. They don't actually have prawn in them. It tastes kind of like um, ketchup chips. And then if I have a smaller, like I don't want, like I don't really want these, but I wanted to try at least one. I guess this is a biscuit, isn't it? Or do they call these cookies? It's a biscuit cookie digestive, that's what they call them. Mmm. Yummy. For work, um, I do social media and I, I repeat this often. I have management. Uh, I get sponsorships sometimes. The thing is, is, it's hard to explain how I make money because it's always different every single month. It could be that I don't make anything in a month, but I had like two sponsorships the previous month or something, and then I just kind of save. And then, you know, AdSense from YouTube, and then sometimes I'll model for a brand. Or do Lately, it's been very slow. It's always very slow after Christmas, so haven't had a lot coming in, but I did a couple of sponsorships a few months ago. Then there's like little things here and there, like um, 
TikTok revenue or a donation here or there, stuff like that, that's not as known, so I don't count on it. But I, I, I couldn't afford rent and travel at the same time. So this is the only way I can do it for now, is to not have a home, is to not be able to stay in one spot. Um, I can't stay with my family because they're too out in the middle of nowhere. They're not near any airports. I can't stay with my best friend anymore. She, she moved somewhere else. And also I can't afford to live in New York City. So there's really no place for me at the, this moment, but it's okay. It's just, a, it's a little lonely or scary, but I'm trying to just see the positives and everything and that I'm able to be able to continuously travel. And I really am excited about this, this new opportunity going into it. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. The, the next few videos here are gonna be much funner. We're gonna go out and do things here. Um, so stay tuned for that. Thank you for listening to me and watching me. I love you guys very much. I'll see you next time.